Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Road to Ranked Roulette series. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and we're continuing on with our crazy Road to Ranked Roulette series this week. We've had some incredible games this week. Lots of hype on the channel in this series, and if you've missed any of it, would like to check it out. I'll link a card up there for you before you come into today's episode. Go check those episodes out, and I would definitely recommend every one episode ends with some real exciting action. So... Before we get into today's episode, obviously the team is not on the screen now because we are going to activate some of our bonus buttons that we've got in the bank. So I'm going to activate our Legend Maker button to switch up one of our Legend Repairing and I'm going to activate our Switch Up button. So I get to nominate a Pokemon from our party and then we get a random one pulled back in. So let's go with the, the Switch Up first. I'm going to nominate Shift Tree to leave i'm sorry shift tree but you we've got one fake out user shift tree's been putting in some nice work as well but i feel like we've got room elsewhere where we can maybe hopefully get something in that does a little bit more for the team gives us a little more stability maybe something that gives us a little bit extra against those fairy types that were a little bit weak to at the minute so shift tree Sayonara, thank you so much for all the work you've put in this week. You've been incredible. Um, and we'll we'll go over to the wheel now and see what selection we're going to get in place for Shift Tree. We get God of War. All right, this is amazing. Okay, so thank you so much for the, 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 the nomination for God of War. I'm going to actually, the nomination itself asks for Scarf God of War with Trick, which we might try and utilize later in the week. But what I would love to do with it right now is play Mega God of War. We don't have a Mega in the team. It's going to give us another option of Trick Room um, to utilize with our combination that we've got so far so a really good selection and we've got a fairy type it's not the fairy kind of counter that we were looking for but it's something that we can utilize a psychic type as well that'll be very useful going forward especially against things like amoongus that have been such a problem uh sleep wise for the team already this week um next button we're going to activate is going to be our legend maker button so i'm going to hope like I was saying, if I pick one Pokemon to go out, I think it would be the Palkia, uh, keep the Dialga. So, fingers crossed we get what we want, but let's go over to the wheel and see which legend and we're going to lose this week. Ah, the one that we didn't want to lose, it was Dialga, so we're going to take Dialga out of the team, unfortunately. Uh, we'll go straight over to the wheel and see what the roulette is going to throw out for us. Hopefully something good. Come on, be something that's good against fairies, please. And it's Kieran White. All right, I can deal with this. We're keeping along the same trend and theme of Dragon Week. So it is Dragon Week, we've got Kieran White in it. It's a Dragon Ice type, uh, it's very powerful. So it's an option. Let's get over to our team in our battle box and we can take a look at it. As always, the team is down in the description below. There is a roll pace and a poker pace if you want to check out the details of it. Just to summarize it though, we've got the Salazzle fake out. It has got the Poison UMZ to give us an option against uh, Xerneas primarily and other fairy types. You've got the Kingler there. It's got Wide Guard support, Crab Hammer. We've kept the Guillotine on there and Protect. And then we've got the Hacks Risk, keeping that Scarf set going. Um, gives us a little bit of an option to hit things like Scarfed Lele and gives us that fast guillotine if we need it. Also got Stomp and Tantrum, Dragon Claw on there as well and the Poison Jab for Fairy coverage. And then we've got Kieran White. I've went with an Assault Vest set. We've got Icy Wind, Ice Beam, Earth Power and Infusion Flare on it. I think the Assault Vest suits the team quite well, especially if we're going down more of a Trick Room route with the team. Uh, Mega God of War, like I say, with the Trick Room option there. Very standard God of War. Very bulky defensive and then the park here we've kept exactly the same. So without further ado, Let's get into today's episode. We've still got our one hit kill options active, so I'm hoping we didn't get any in yesterday's episode. I'm hoping we can get some today. So let's hop over. Let's go trainer version two. Old school selection. So trainer version two. 
Hopefully it doesn't take too long to find an opponent just like that. And if you do enjoy this sort of content, guys, do drop a like on the video. It does really help out the channel and the video. And do subscribe to the channel because we will be doing more of this Pokemon content and serious Pokemon content going forward, playthroughs and things like that as well. If you do enjoy that sort of content, it's all going to be coming on the channel. And uh, do subscribe and leave your comments down below. But we'll get into team preview, see what we're going up against for our first one today. So we've got Xerneas Lunala, Incineroar, Amoongus, Lucario and Tapu Lele. So it's a Xerneas and Lunala core, very strong core, potent core that was popular in the Sun and the Moon series. Not made so much of a splash in the Ultra series but still very strong and can't be underestimated. Going to have a lot of support options around that because primarily set the Xerneas up with the Geomancy and then maybe try and psych up with the Lunala to try and sweep out the rest of the team. The Incineroar there with the fake out support, uh, Amoongus with redirection, Lucario could be probably Mega Lucario with redirection there and also a fast defensive mod that does cause a lot of issues and then the Tapu Lele there probably scarfed but maybe not as well so we'll bring Salazzle here as a lead I think it's a nice lead and um, the Lunala causes us a few problems but I think a trick room option for us here is is good uh, we need to be very careful about the Amoongus so that's the one thing we need to, to watch out for more than anything else we could go Curum uh, as a lead here because um, oh Palkia um, Palkia might be better um, and let's go Gardevoir and Haxorus I think uh, but we're probably gonna I don't know if we locked in Haxorus we might end up with Kingler so I don't know if that's gonna be a good thing because we've got the guillotine on both of them but leaving the Kurum out for game one it makes it difficult to bring like all the dragons when you're so weak to Xerneas and you're really relying on um, the Salazzle for the most part to, to help deal with all of these, these different threats. So we'll see Lunala, Lucario come out for my opponent. We might want to be keeping Salazzle around for later on in this match. Uh, I don't know if we want to go for a fake out into the Lucario. It definitely could be Mega. Um, we could switch into Gardevoir. Or we could just go for an overheat into the Lucario. It might be a nice option just to go for it there. Expecting that we try and fake it out. It might not Mega Evolve. Um, but it is going to Mega Evolve if it does go for an attack. Salazzle should outspeed it. So we should be able to get the overheat onto it. And pick up a knockout onto it before it can do anything. And then get the Trick Room up. Uh, it is actually just going for a Follow Me. So that's fine. I mean, I don't mind what the Lunala is going to do here. Um, if it goes Tailwind, that's fine. Um, but we do get the overheat knockout onto Lucario, so critical hit doesn't matter there. We would have got it regardless. Overheat's such a powerful move. Lucario is a bit of a glass cannon Pokemon as well. And there's the, the Tailwind and the perfect start for us as we Trick Room on a Tailwind. I mean, you've got to love it when that happens. Um, so we do get the, the Trick Room up, which makes things and our life a lot easier. So I wonder what comes in now. Uh, we've still got to be careful around the Amoongus that comes in, potentially, that my opponent has brought but it's going to be the Xerneas um, we can potentially pick up a knockout onto the Xerneas here with the Poisonium Z um, and and a war Hydro Pump um, what have we got in the back of the Guard of War the problem is um, my opponent could protect the Xerneas here and go for a Psyshock into Salazzle that's the, that's the big thing I think that we need to be careful of uh, we could bring in Gardevoir um, and, yeah, and go Hydro Pump. Hydro Pump into the Xerneas. It's such a big target. Like, you need to try and hit it. I'm going to kick myself a little bit if the Xerneas does go for the Geomancy here. <sighs> get the Trace. We'll get the Shadow Shield. Mm, that's interesting. Xerneas does protect. Okay. I don't mind this too much because we'll probably see Psy Shock. I'd imagine into the God of War slot. Yeah. Okay. Which we, we will be able to take pretty comfortably. So that's fine. Um, and now we definitely will Mega Evolve. Um, do we Psy Shock and Hydro Pump the Xerneas? I think it's not a bad option. Like, Salazzle, we need to be careful because the, the Lunala we need to deal with. Um, we need to be able to probably hyper voicing to break the shadow shield so it makes it a little bit easier to deal with late game um, and yeah and hydro pump the Xerneas here 
Zernia's going to switch out anyway, and Tabulele going to hit the field. Alright, I don't mind this too much. Uh, my opponent's Tailwind does run out this turn, I believe. But we can potentially take down the Lele here. Uh, the Trick Room's really putting us in a nice position to put lots of pressure on my opponent and forcing the Xerneas out, so Con Geomancy is also a nice thing. Hydro Pump does connect with the Lele. And it's definitely going to go down to a Hyper Voice here. We'll probably lose Gardevoir. Um, but just breaking the Shadow Shield on the Lunala and the Palkia sitting in such a nice position now anyway. Which is which is really good. We're going to see actually a Z-Move come out from the Lunala. So as always going to have to cut this scene. So we'll be right back when we see where Lunala's um, Z-Move lands. But it is into Gardevoir. Uh, this would be more than enough to take us down. But I mean at the same time. It does open the door for us to bring in um, Kingler to try and potentially deal with the the Xerneas. Uh, ah, it's difficult though, because Salazzle hmm, might be a better option. Um, it's just we're not... Yeah, we, we can't bring Salazzle in just yet because... Under Trick Room, Salazzle's not going to be out speeding, and I think that what we want to try and do here is, is target down the Xerneas with a Crab Hammer and um, a Crab Hammer and a Hydro Pump. And just let's just check how many turns of Trick Room we've got left. We've got two, so we've got. I think if we just get rid of the Xerneas, I think we should be all right. Um, we need to concentrate down on the Xerneas. It could protect here. It sure can. I don't think a Psy Shock will take Kingdra down. Kingler, um, we've got pretty high defense on Kingler. It does protect, but it means the next turn we need to land both our attacks, and hopefully <coughs> we get through this turn unscathed by this uh, uh, Lunala uh, Psy Shock. Yeah, Kingler, come on, take it. Yeah, its high defense is really helping us out there. Their Tailwind does pitter out. Um, the Crab Hammer combination with the Hydro Pump should be enough to get the Xerneas. And if we can get that, then I think we can close this game out. So it's all about just getting these attacks off. And the Xerneas not getting a double protect, which it needs now. So no protect coming out. There's a Crab Hammer. It's going to be very close. I don't know if we're going to actually be able to do it. Oh, it's so close. But it goes for the Moon Blast. This opens the door for us to actually... Can Palkia take it? It can take it. Psy Shock. This will take down Kingler. Ooh, Salazzle's got... I don't know if Salazzle can do it. I don't know if Salazzle can do it. Okay. We. I think we've got a bank on. Ah. It's really frustrating. Um, we're going to have to Z-move the Xerneas here. We'll get it regardless. And then maybe Trick Room. Because I think the Lunala targets down the Salazzle here. I, I don't know if a Hydro Pump is going to be enough. And we don't see a Protect from the Xerneas, which is... <sighs> interesting. I wonder if the, like the Lunala... What is the Lunala doing in, in this situation? Um, if it does anything but attack then I think we can win this. If it attacks, then I just don't think we've got enough in the tank to, to deal with it. I don't think Parker can take it down from this this range. Yeah, there's the Psy Shock. It's going to have to be a Hydro Pump, and it's going to have to be like a crit Hydro Pump, I think, from here. Uh, I just don't think we're going to have enough in the tank to do it, unfortunately. Um, no, not from this range. But, I mean, we can try, can't we? Hydro Pump's our strongest option here, so we'll go for it. Can hope for a crit. I think that's what we need. <laughs> Screw you, Palkia. This is why I didn't want you. This is why I didn't want to keep you in the team. You're just so whiffy, Hydro Pump. I don't think we would have taken Lunala down anyway, but that just adds salt to the wound, doesn't it? Palkia. Terrible. Terrible Pokemon, but never mind. We'll have to stick with it because I don't think we've got another option to get rid of it for the rest of the week. 
Um, so very good game to my opponent. Not the best way for us to kick off today, but we're very close and a lot of the elements did kind of work. Um, it was just the, I guess, the selections that we had. Uh, God of War, if it had been able to stick around a little bit longer, maybe it would have been better. And there was opportunities in that match where, you know, we were covering slots that we thought were protecting, but we didn't want to just leave them and take that risk, take that gamble um, behind a... a like for them not to protect so we kind of have ourselves to blame a little bit for that as well but we've got an next opponent so we'll get into our second game pretty quickly and we'll hop straight over into team preview okay so our next opponent is running dusk main across my cresselia cresselia pokemon we very rarely see in this format but it's still a very strong option groudon cortana tapu coco and salamence really like the the concept of this team with the the dusk main and the groudon gives you a lot of stability against things like xerneas especially with that cortana beside it um you've got nice checks to kyogre as well between the coco and cortana this team is really nice actually i really do like this team a lot um it's a very strong solid core it's going to be difficult to play against um we definitely need our trick room mode here the dusk main makes it very difficult to bring something like mega god of war along with the groudon um so we'll go salazzle though fake out going to be invaluable here i think um trick room <sighs> trick room is that the way to go here i don't know if it is maybe curum sulfest curum could be good um And then Haxorus. Haxorus, definitely. And then Palkia, I think, as well as our last one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that selection. So we'll get into it. And we'll see how we can do against this. I'm missing Dialga. Uh, and I'm missing something that can deal with Lunala as well. I feel like Lunala um, is a bit of an issue for this team deal with you not really got a strong way to hit it like super hard uh, we could change something up on Haxorus um, but it's so common for opponents to lead um, with Tapu Lele and things like that you can just threaten Haxorus pretty hard uh, with Lunala so it does make it pretty difficult we are going to see the Dusk main Necrozma come out with the Tapu Koko here um, hmm Tapu Koko puts on a lot of pressure onto us, uh, especially onto our Salazzle slot. That makes it pretty difficult to maneuver around. I mean, do you see Dusk Main protect here? And the Coco go for a Thunderbolt into Salazzle or Gigavolt. Um, I think either way we're going to end up losing. Um, because we could fusion flare necrozma but the, the other thing is we could earth power coco or we could icy wind it as well um i'm going to fusion flare the necrozma so we'll prevent the, the coco from faking out we'll probably take a photon geyser or we might see a trick i mean a trick room here would be amazing wouldn't it this isn't going to do a great deal of damage but it does half so that's not bad uh oh 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 no, weakness policy. Uh, it's not Ultra Necrozma then. It's a trick room. As they say, the trick room. Mm. Mm. Now, does the Coco protect or switch out? I'd imagine the Coco probably switches out. I think I'm going to try and go for an overheat and another fusion flare. I'm going to double into the Necrozma here, try and get rid of it because it's such a threat. We'll get one of these attacks off. Uh, which one it will be, I don't know. But the Curum is likely to probably get attacked by the Necrozma here. Um, and the Coco will take down Salazzle. But we need to get rid of this slow threat. Yeah, Curum never taking the plus two there. Never. Never! Uh, we'll get the overheat. But then we're going to lose Salazzle and our options become very... Uh, very awkward, very quickly. Okay, so Coco might vault switch. You might be able to. Yeah, Salazzle should take this just about. Why? Why? <laughs> oh. Well, I think that pretty much sealed it. 
my opponent Cresselia and then Groudon I reckon um, well, we've got Palkia um, and we got Haxorus with Haxorus we always got the one hit KO chance haven't we we've always got that one hit KO chance as long as it doesn't get taken down before anything else uh, with Palkia we're not going to be able to utilize Hydro Pump until the Groudon's gone But I think what we'll try and do is uh, it's probably Mint Speed Groudon as well. No Groudon. I wonder what it's better going for uh, the one hit kill into Groudon or the Crest. I mean, the Crest would probably be better going into the Crest. To be honest, the Crest is going to be more difficult for us to take down. I think so. We'll go for that. Um, oh, we haven't got. No, it's not the. We've changed the Haxorus up. It's not the, that one anymore. So we've got uh, Dragon Dance on it. Um, Stomp and Tantrum. Might be a little bit better, actually, to to work with. So how many turns of Trick Room have we got left? Because we could potentially reverse Trick Room and. Um, reverse the Trick Room now with Palkia. Which I think we can do and just protect with Haxorus. Yeah. And then we like the perfect turn here would be Dragon Dance with Haxorus reverse trick room, but I don't know if Haxorus can take a double a double up from Precipice Blades and potentially an ice beam. No Palkia taking that comfortably as it can, I guess. Gravity coming out from the Cresselia. Um we will reverse the trick room, of course. It does help us somewhat um i guess we can try a spatial render groudon and dragon dance here <sighs> i just don't feel like we're going to be able to come back in this one it feels a little bit too far gone it does feel a little bit too far gone doesn't it um groudon going to protect so we are going to get a free dragon dance up which is helpful. We might have an out here. Is it the Cresselia might trick room here again? You never know. Oh, it's got an icy wind. Okay, well, I don't mind that too much because Haxorus still outspeed stuff. It's going to take a little bit of damage, of course. Icy wind not so great. But we might be able to. Um... It doesn't help us against a Corcor, though. That's the, the one big problem. I think the one hit KO option here would have been better with Haxorus and just nuking stuff outright. Um, I'm going to Trick Room again because I feel like an Icy Wind will come out. Um, I just don't think a plus one... <sighs> hmm. Can we get a Spatial Round Off onto Groudon? That's the big thing. I think if we can do that, maybe, and protect Haxorus here. Just, I'm just thinking because... If Palkia can take a Precipice Blades, get the Spatial Rend off into the Groudon. I just don't think we're going to be able to take an Icy Wind and a Precipice Blades. It's just not going to happen, is it? I don't think the crit matters there at all. Yeah, I just don't think Palkia is going to be able to take this. No. No, we needed that. Electricity disappears from the field. Uh, yeah, but there's no way for us to beat the Cresselia, really. We needed the one-hit kill there. Uh, a little bit disappointing, today's episode. Definitely. Um, it's not going as well. We'll go for the stomping into the Groudon. Like I said, I don't think we're going to be able to pick up the kill anywhere near where we need to be. Um, we should do a decent chunk of damage, plus one. Wow, it's so weak. Yeah, and this, this plus P blades is not going to be there. I think what will be better is going back to the Haxor set that we were running. It was way more effective. It gave us way more outs. And I think it, in the concept and the builds that we're, we're playing at the minute, I think that the, we we need those outs uh, a little bit more than, than the more solid teams that we're seeing and playing against, to be honest. So I think going back to the Haxorus, if we keep it in the team, uh, for tomorrow then 
uh, that is going to be a better option for us to go forward with. But uh, we've got two more buttons we can activate. We'll probably activate at least one of those tomorrow, so um, and try and change things up. See if we can we can create a bit more stability to the team. Um, so. We'll end it there, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. The result's not as good. The hype, not there at the end there today, but we'll make it even more hype in tomorrow's episode. So do tune in for that one. Thanks for tuning in to today. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you all for our next episode tomorrow. So until then, take care, and bye-bye.